Stromboli, a life on an active volcano in Italy. Right on a remote land surrounded by blue seawater, hundreds of people place their lives here, living days far from the noise and stuffiness of the big city. This is Stromboli, a remote life on an active volcano in Italy. Stromboli, located off the northern coast of Sicily, Italy. This island with an area of 12.6 square kilometers is home to about 500 residents who are in three villages. The villages of San Bartolo and San Vincenzo are located in the northeast, while the smaller village of Ginostra is located in the southwest. In the middle, there is a very volatile volcano called Stromboli. This mountain is one of four active volcanoes in Italy. This mountain is shaped like a perfect cone towering 924 meters above the visible sea level. And more than half of the other part is in the depths of the sea. The total height of this volcano is almost two miles, but only the very top is limited to the water. In fact, the people here actually do not live at the foot of the volcano, but they live at the top of the volcano, right next to its magmatic belly. That means no one on this island is really safe from danger. Nicknamed the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean. Once upon a time, this place was crowded with so many people. At least in the early 1900s, around 5,000 people lived here. But after a major eruption and the resulting tsunami in 1930, the majority of the island's population left for other islands when the volcano began to erupt almost continuously a few years later. The population dwindled, and by the late 1940s, only about 15% of the island's population remained. But in 1950, a film about Stromboli that went viral at that time attracted many people back to visit this remote island. It is recorded that Mount Stromboli has experienced almost continuous eruptions for the past 5,000 years. Now after many years have passed, life in Stromboli still goes on with around 500 residents living side by side. Many Stromboli residents rely on tourism for their income, starting from selling various culinary delights, providing transportation services, tour guides, selling souvenirs, and opening lodgings. With the many tourists who visit Stromboli every year, this is a blessing for local residents. In addition, some of them also depend on gardening. Grape plants are one of the important commodities in this place. Stromboli is one of the most visited volcanoes in the world, and tourists often make a three-hour climb to see the ancient beauty from the edge of the crater. But this summer, two large explosions rocked the island, killing an Italian hiker, and causing 70 people to be evacuated from the top of the mountain. To reach Stromboli, people can use the sea route by boat, heading to the port on the coast, which is immediately greeted by rows of white concrete houses. Although it is in a remote location, the atmosphere here is no different from cities in general. Paved roads with vehicles passing by on them. This is really not like being on a volcano although vibrations and small eruptions often occur. But strangely, the people here still choose to inhabit their village. Local residents who are accustomed to living with the roar of the volcano call the mountain here a friend. Many locals believe that there is happiness in accepting the power of nature and in the vulnerability of life. Currently, Stromboli is a beautiful and quiet place to live. But behind its tranquility, there is also tension, which at any time could turn into a threat. As an active volcano, it is possible that Stromboli will repeat its dark history, become a ticking time bomb until the time comes, spewing rocks and hot lava in large quantities, claiming many lives and ending all the beautiful stories on it.